So you want a flexibility routine that's quick, easy to follow, and covers your whole body. This is the routine for you, so stay tuned and I'll show you exactly that. So welcome to this whole body mobility routine. It's gonna take us about five minutes. Now, as I go through this, you can take a little bit longer in each position if you feel it's excessively tight and you need that extra time in that particular stretch. I'm gonna run through in a nice flowing pattern and you can follow along with that. And as you get the uh, awareness and confidence to sort of run through at your own pace you can find which areas are tighter which areas are slightly looser and start to use this more as a uh, scanning technique for going through the whole body and understanding which areas need more work and which areas need less okay uh, if you've not already please subscribe to the channel and we'll show you uh, more videos like this in the future let's get into it so we're going to start with the deep squat. So sit down onto the heels as deep as you possibly can. Uh, make sure that if you are struggling to get all the way down as I am here, then the knees at least stay over the second toe. And as you do more and more of this, you'll be able to get lower and lower. Then we're going to put the knees as wide as possible on the ground and we're going to move from a sort of push-up type position at the front and then sitting all the way back onto the heels, stretching different elements of the hip. And we've got the straddle position. Just with this, make sure that you are trying to move from your hip and not making all of the movement come from the spine. And this is just a compression there that helps with future exercises. And we're going to go into the forward bend and again making sure that you're moving from the hip forwards from the hip rather than from the spine and this is the dynamic 90 90 you're really scanning to see what your hips are doing in internal rotation and what they're doing in external rotation both knees should hit the ground and then we add a rotation on to each side before we go into the 90 90 stretch so into the 90-90 stretch now. So from what we've just scanned with the dynamic 90-90, we're looking to lean in, making sure that we keep a neutral spine. I can't emphasize that enough. So make sure that we're not flexing from the spine here. And we're going to sit into the hip, looking for the position that gives you the greatest stretch. And now in this position where I've turned to face the back knee, in, in this case, my left knee, we're stretching the internal hip rotator. So slightly different to when I'm facing towards the front knee. So again, we're just going to repeat that on the other side. So I'm stretching the external rotators of the hip here, looking for the tightest position and seeing also comparing left and right. I'm, looking for information to tell me what's happening on my left side versus my right side. And again, I'm, I'm facing the back knee, in this case, the right knee and stretching the internal hip rotators there. Now we're going to go into the wrist mobility. So here we've got uh, a forward lean, two or three movements over the top, and then we turn the hands into internal rotation and sit right back, stretching the forearms in the external rotation. Now onto the backs of the hands, and we're just looking there to gain A, some flexibility, but also some strength, particularly with these uh, knuckle push-ups that I'm doing in this bit here. So we're just wanting to strengthen as well as mobilize, which is always really important. First knuckle push-ups, getting the mobility through the, the hands and then the fingers and strengthening the fingers as well there so three push-ups and then we're going to the cat and camel and we're trying to make this movement as even as possible throughout the whole spine so no one segment of the spine should be doing the majority of the movement so we're going top to bottom or, or working in the sagittal plane and then we go side to side in the frontal plane and then lastly, we do a couple of circles in either direction just to get the mobility moving all the way around and feeling for what the spine is doing. Then we're into the 
thoracic rotation or spinal rotation. So pop the shoulder onto the ground and I use the opposite hand. So in this case, my left arm just to assist me with three pumps over to the other side. And this is a traction of the hip trying to stay as long as possible, nice neutral spine, uh, or as, as, as much as possible. And then we're gonna sit down onto that same side. So my right side here, and that's going to get the IT band, or the outside of your hip moving. And then we do the same on the other side. So really try and lengthen that spine. We're not trying to flex the spine here, lengthening through the hip. And then again, sitting onto that hip. So we're getting the outside of that left hip to stretch. And then face down into the McKenzie press up, keeping the glutes relaxed here. Only come as far as you can keep the hips on the ground. Don't come up too high, otherwise you risk irritating the lower back. And then we're in straight into the chest. You can see my wrist is extended with the fingers open. That's to also get a little bit of the fascia, which is uh, some, uh, some other tissue in and around where the muscles are. That will help stretch that. And then we go on to the upper back stretch. So laying across one arm and just rolling onto that same side arm, you'll feel the muscles in between your shoulder blades stretching or even outside of the shoulder. And sitting back onto the heels uh, into the child's pose, getting a spinal flexion. So perhaps if you've got a tight lower back, that would be a fantastic position for you. Now, before we go into this position, we want to squeeze the glutes, rotate the pelvis backwards, hold that position, belly button in, and lift the hips as high as we can, holding that position for a few seconds, and then lowering, and then coming up into the kneeling position. Keeping the pelvis rolled backwards again, so the hip flexor gets a good stretch, and feeling for how that changes throughout the full range of motion there as I wave the arm all the way through 360 degrees. Keeping the pelvis roll back, like I said, and then we're up into the hamstrings, which is the waiter's bow, and we can just oscillate from one side to the other. So that's it, the whole body mobility routine that should be five or six minutes. By the time you've practiced it four or five times, you should be able to get through that really quickly and start to scan that body and feel how you change and, and respond to exercise and perhaps sitting at a desk more, see how the body changes with those different lifestyle things. Um, you can also download a PDF copy of the mobility routine uh, in the, there's a link in the description below to get access to that and you can print that out or just have that on your phone in front of you that might be even easier for you to follow along thanks for watching see you soon